Reporting live from Kayla's Plants bedroom, I have some terrible news to share with you guys. Unfortunately, some of my plants have thrips. I haven't even gotten out of my pajamas. I am a hot mess this morning, but I need to take care of this because I found them yesterday afternoon and I was like, oh my God, why? Why me? But it's just, it comes with the territory and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to treat them so that in case you are dealing with the rips, you can get a little bit of an idea of maybe what to do. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just gonna like do something and hope for the best. So if you wanna see how I try to get rid of these darn thrips, then keep on watching. And just by the way, this is like not the type of video I wanna make, but I'm gonna do it anyways because it is like something that happens and I'm not trying to hide the fact that I have pests because there's probably other pests that I don't even know about. Oh yeah, and there's spider mites as well. I've seen like a little bit of the webbing or whatever, but I really don't care about spider mites. They don't bother me nearly as much as thrips. Like thrips will eat away at your plant like bad and fast, so yeah. And it's basically like all the same plants, like the same type. It's my big leaf philodendron, the ones that are like bush-like. Let's go kill some thrips. So this is my philodendron redback and I actually forgot to mention this one in my plant collection but whatever. So this was one of my first plants that I noticed had thrips and I think so far I have gotten rid of them all. She's been looking good and I need to add some lighting over here if I'm going to be able to show you the backs of them just so I can kind of show you that I've gotten rid of the thrips but they were really affecting the new growth mostly so I forget what I did with this plant honestly I think I just rinsed it off and wiped down all the leaves with a little solution which I'll show you guys that I'm gonna make and then I think this one has thrips I don't know and I don't really care about this one to be honest it is just my Hartley philodendron that I combined all of my Hartley philodendrons together and it's just kind of doing whatever but I feel like this one might have started it all but I don't know because I didn't see any thrips on this one it might not have them moving on this one has spider mites for sure is that a thrip I don't know it's not moving yes it's moving yeah this plant has thrips I can see it moving I can't get a good image I might have to get out my phone camera because this one is really hard to show you okay so this one has thrips and then over here are my philodendron mias and these definitely had thrips so oh my god my baby is wild behind me so i have already had these quarantine kind of and i've been treating them but i'm not sure if the thrips are gone i don't think so. okay so i don't think they're gone on this one but yeah they're still there i don't think you're gonna be able to see hold on See if it will focus. All right, the little white specks. There's a few. Okay, actively has thrips on that one. I'm sure this one does too. All right, so those definitely, definitely this one. And also I noticed this one. I noticed this one by all the freaking leaf damage. Sorry, the lighting situation is awful. But you see all the brown on here? And then look at how the leaves are just curling inward. Um, I will probably be chopping this leaf off, even though I have treated it already. And it's only been a few days. I haven't seen anything come back yet, but there's so much leaf damage. And then this leaf, look at how that one grew out. Like, clearly full of pest damage, so... I'm a little sad about that, but I'm going to just cut the leaves off. And here's a new growth point, a leaf coming in. I don't know if there is thrips inside there, because I know they can get in there. But there's no roots or anything, and I don't know. I'm scared to chop the leaves off and have nothing left for it to kind of, you know. I don't want it to be a stick. I don't want a wet stick, honestly. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I might just leave it and keep my eye on it. So this plant had thrips as well. I need to look closely again and check it since treating it and like trying to stay on top of it. And all the way up here is where I found the thrips. So on all my plants that I had up here, nothing seems to have traveled down so far. 
and I'm really worried about my painted lady getting thrips. I really don't want her to and I need to wash my hands before I touch any plants again. But let me show you the other ones that I found thrips on. I have exiled these to my kids bathroom just for now so i think there's definitely thrips on my philodendron fuzzy petiole which all the leaves look pretty damaged um they're like really splotchy the lighting is atrocious in here hold on let me actually open this window it might help all right i'm not sure how well that helps maybe if i hold it this way so you can see the leaf damage on these and yeah we have to treat that one and then these here as well so this one i am so sad about this one because this is my like special philodendron you know it has that weird variegation but she is really infested with thrips i'm not sure how well you're gonna see them but if you can see they're actually like all clustered together here on this one yeah so these guys they have it bad like really bad i'm gonna get my phone out because my phone really shows up close so much better than this camera and the camera like doesn't know what to focus on so okay so those have thrips and this has thrips and clearly somebody moved it because i didn't have it smushed into the wall like that whatever but i don't know which leaf i saw them on one of these leaves was bad so let me go get my phone camera so i can show you guys a little bit better excuse the messy bathroom i got kids i got boys okay okay so let's see how good i can show you guys the buggies if it will show up okay i don't really see any there hold up hold up there's definitely some okay all the little white specks so right in here all around here and you can actually see it moving. Those are thrips. Ah! One just moved. Did you see it? They jump, you guys. Oh my God, disgusting. Ugh. Okay, let's go ahead and do something with these plants. I see you. He's spying on me? He got, got a recording device. What are you doing? Really quick, I totally forgot. My Monstera Deliciosa, my first cutting, she definitely had thrips, and I've already wiped this one down, and uh, I don't know if I already see more back, but she for sure had thrips. I cut off the, like, deadest leaf, and I actually took, like, some footage of it. If I can find it, if I didn't already delete it, I'll throw it on the screen, but yeah, she is exiled as well. Okay, so, oh my god, I'm brushing against the plant I shouldn't. Hi, hello, I'm down here. I am going to probably just throw away all the soil and I think I'm gonna put these plants in water. So let's do that. So I got my handy dandy trash can. She nasty and smells like diapers. Okay, so anywho, I'm just gonna empty them out and rinse the roots because thrips live in this soil and I don't even want to deal with it anymore. Ideally I would like to do this outside but it is very cold so it's not ideal. And I'm just trying to get all the dirt clumps out because I'm gonna rinse the roots off in the sink and I don't wanna, you know, send all this dirt down the sink really. So just massage your roots. You probably can't see what I'm doing, hold up. Okay, honestly, you guys, if you wanted to, you could just propagate this and cut all of this off down here and just be done with it, but I think I'm, uh, I don't know what I want to do, honestly, if I want to start it over or not. I'm going to rinse it off and see what I'm working with first. All right. 
Alrighty, so clearly this root system, it's not, I'm not going to be able to get all of the um, soil off. Can you even see it? Sorry. Oh my god, I shouldn't be touching this on other plants. But now, oh my god. I think, honestly, you know what, let's just cut all of the roots off and reroot. So since I plan to, you know, put it in water anyways, I'm just going to cut all these roots off and we're going to start it over. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. It's not the best time of day for me to be doing this, but it's when I'm doing it. So. And this is going to send this plant into shock. Um, oh my gosh, you know what? I think I can cut this chunk off. Okay, so I just cut off this big amount. And let's rinse it again. This is what I am left with. Can you see? Sorry, the lighting is just the worst. I should have waited for the sun to go down some. We might just do one plant and I'll do the rest with you guys later. Now comes the fun part. I'm gonna wipe off every single leaf with my little solution and I will show you what that looks like. So I have this old bottle of this insecticidal super soap and it is all used up and I don't have anything else right now so I'm just gonna make my own little mixture of hopefully what will kill them and it's gonna be hydrogen peroxide some neem oil some rubbing alcohol and this Dr. Bronner's Castile soap so I'm just going to dilute these with water in this bottle and then I'm gonna use it to spray the back of the leaves and then I'm gonna take paper towel and wipe the leaves down and then throw this away And I'm not using like super cold water. I want it to be kind of like room temperature-ish. Then I'm just going to take a couple drops of soap and put in there. That might have been more than a couple, but that is okay. And then I'm going to take some, this is the hydrogen peroxide, and put a big squirt in there. And then some rubbing alcohol. I'm not going to use as much of this because I don't want to damage the leaf. But I do want it to, you know, have some sort of effect. And you guys, this is just what I have been doing for quite some time now and it works and I don't have to like buy these $10 bottles of stuff over and over. This is just neem oil concentrate and I'm gonna pour just a little bit of that in here. You don't need too much because like I said it's the concentrate. One of these bottles I think I'm going on year two of having this same bottle so I recommend buying one of those investing and okay I'm gonna fill it up with some more water it's going to help mix it around in there because I don't want to shake the bottle up because then it's going to create all the soapy bubbles, you know. So putting that water in there is helping mix it all around. And then just put your lid back on. So I'm going to spray the leaves and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to let this sit on the plant for a little bit before I wipe them down because I want it to absorb into the leaves a little bit. Sorry if you hear my dog eating beside me, but it's gonna help absorb into the leaves because thrips actually like lay their egg in the leaves and stuff or their larva or whatever. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but yeah. So I'm just gonna let that sit for maybe 10 minutes or so. Not like too terribly long, but I do want it to kind of absorb into the leaves. And then I think I will wipe it down with paper towel first, and then I will give it another rinse 
with water so that it kind of helps if there is any rubbing alcohol or anything because I don't want to damage the leaves like I said. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and unpot these and throw away the dirt and I'm going to repeat the same process to these little plants that I have right here and so that those can start, you know, getting this soap stuff on them. So I've just got these pots with no drainage holes in them. I'm not sure what type of pot they're supposed to be, but it's for like sitting a pot inside of it, I think, and then you can have the water down in the bottom, so I don't know. But yeah, so I'm just gonna stick it in here with water and let it grow in that and update you guys here in a few weeks. I've actually decided it's a bit too much to dump out the soil for all of these pots or plants. So I just wanna show you another option to treat them, which is literally the same thing minus dumping the soil. You just wipe your plants down with the soap mixture, whatever concoction that you made. So you wanna wipe down all the leaves really good and literally do this like once a week because they will just come right back. And then I'm also gonna spray the soil because it is just really unrealistic for me to do this to all my plants. Unrealistic for me, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. So I've already sprayed the leaves and then I am also just spraying the paper towel. And then I'm going to spray it again and down into the plant and all around the tops of the soil. And I will exile all of these plants and keep treating them every week. Alrighty, so it is the next day and I have treated a bunch of plants the same way I showed you that I was doing. Some I have left in soil. This one didn't have thrips, but it had spider mites, which is kind of to be expected. It is a prayer plant. Uh, yeah, so sorry, it's a little messy in here. I got to clean. It's been a day. It's been a couple of days. But anyways, so those, oh, right here. These guys over here are quarantining. So I have the Mia and then my Bipinifolium and then this guy is quarantining. I haven't done anything with this one yet and that guy has been quarantining and I think it is safe now so I'm not sure if I'm going to introduce it with my other plants or not yet. I also just wanted to mention I went ahead and sprayed down my entire collection. Hello my poppet. And so I like took my little mixture that I made and I sprayed down everything and it's probably a bad idea that I did go ahead and put these back up there where they were but you guys I don't have anywhere to put them and they're like the biggest plants 
so yeah I just put them back up there they are treated cleaned and in water they are not in soil so let me just show you here if you can see they are just in water so yeah and this one I left in soil but I treated it and I treated all of these guys down here I just sprayed them and then I checked them no pest on them like not even spider mites and then I went over here and I checked for pests and all that and I can't remember which plants I did find some on oh right up here my campo sportoanum I found spider mites on it and I think this one had a little bit of spider mites in one spot but that wasn't really too big of a deal and then I also checked all these plants over here I did have like super dusty leaves because I'm always dropping soil and stuff on these guys I went ahead and I washed like all my syngonium down um, and then I treated them as well and then my glad hands I washed that one down as well and sprayed all these guys so hopefully we are getting rid of the problem and I've noticed you guys I have no pests or anything in my prop boxes like my prop boxes are just amazing and this isn't really ideal for me but it is the best spot for light in my house so this is where I have a bunch of these plants and a bunch of Hoyas that I am sun stressing and that I just want to grow better they just need the light so that's what we have going on and I'm going to keep you guys updated within like the next few weeks on what happens with the plants. Also, I did notice a couple of spider mites and stuff on some of my plants that I have like for sale. But those aren't ones that I took to the swap or anything. Those are completely separate because I checked all the ones I took to the swap. But those are just like many multiples that I have. So yeah, we are still working on eradicating everything, but I think so far so good. Also, if anybody has any idea why this happened, this happened I think one of the last times I treated my plants, which was months ago. Like when I first got this plant, I sprayed them down and then only some of the leaves have this like speckled situation going on. It's not on the new leaves, so I don't know what happened with that, and it's only on two of them. So I don't know what that is, uh, so if you know, let me know. And I'm just looking back here to see if I see any pests, and so far I don't, but it's only the next day. But they have that sticky sap coming off of them, so a lot of like dust and stuff gets stuck on it, so I have to be like really observant on the leaf to figure out what it actually is. Really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys how I just realized this plant also has thrips. So if you check out this new leaf, like all these new leaves coming in, they every single one is damaged. So thrips really thrive on like the new growth and stuff. So see like that one is all weirdly shaped and stuff. So I don't know why I didn't check on this one sooner. Like look at that one right there. So I just looked at it up close and checked all the um, newer leaves. Like you don't even want to worry about the older leaves that look fine. Thrips nine times out of ten aren't even there. They are on the new growth. So just something for you to look out for. And an example is the really oddly shaped leaves coming out all crinkled and stuff. And... I was just trying to rinse them off, so I'm not sure if there's any thrips up here still, but yeah. So that micans was right here with all of these other plants. So now I'm just going to spend the next little bit double checking all of these plants. And I'm a little bit concerned with these monstera or with these raffidophoras down there. They could have thrips as well. So I'm going to check my siltipacana and this burl marks and I really hope my Peru does not have thrips. So I got some Captain Jack's dead bug brew in the mail today and let me show you what else I got to go along with this. So I also got a bottle of the concentrate so that I already have you know a bottle to go and then when I run out I can just mix some more up. So what I started to do was spray some of the plants up there like this one. I gave a really good spray. I 
wiped it down because I found some thrips on it, believe it or not. And I literally just checked that one the other day. So I wiped it all down and then I cut off my grow light here so hopefully it won't burn the leaves and leave those little dots on like what happened to my jungle boogie because I think that's what happened to it last time. <laughs> So I also found thrips on this philodendron Brazil, so I gave it a good little spray, and yeah, I'm exiling it. I still have some plants exiled as well. My oldest just got home from school, so it's chaos now, and then the baby's being wild. So yeah, I'm a little bit worried that maybe thrips are elsewhere, but you know, I'm not going to see it until I see it, and I can only check but so much, so I am like checking as often as possible and when I see like a deformed leaf or something I'm obviously checking them oh that plant needs some water that is light and she is drooping but yeah so I'm gonna still keep you guys updated and these guys up here I haven't wiped them down yet it hasn't been a week yet but I'm not like set on wiping it down exactly a week later but I still need to do that Come inside. Inside. So this is the process that I will just repeat for the next few weeks and after this my plant should be good to go. That's going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys got an idea of how to treat your plants for thrips if you have them and I hope you guys can definitely get rid of them if you have them because they are the worst. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.